Hey everyone and welcome to the Lone Ladder. I've got a homeschool haul today. A lot of it was from Prime Day, the Prime Day sale. Um, and most of it's for the summer, but a couple of bits are for next year for homeschool. So the first book I got was The Secret Animal Society by Luke Gamble. Um, as far as I know, he's an, a vet in real life. In real life, that sounds like he's... Uh, in his day job is a vet, but I think he wrote this as his debut novel. Yeah, there we go. From real life vet, Luke Gamble. So this is... Uh, about a girl called Edith who goes to stay with her uncle and she discovers he's a vet to some of the rarest and most amazing animals in the world and then they have to go on an adventure to help um, they go off to the Himalayas and it just sounds like a really good book so that's the first one I thought she might enjoy this one so I thought she might enjoy this one the next book I got was The History of the World According to Cats and I thought this looked like um, a, such a good read she's going to love this um, so this can be for over the summer so that secret animal society is for over the summer so I read and so is this one I thought she'd really enjoy it so <laughs> we've got a cat and obviously um, and I just thought this would be a great one this is the chapters of where we're going <laughs> so I got this draw with art hub for kids uh, we've seen some of the YouTube videos and they're always really good and I, when I saw that they had a book out I thought I have to get it so it's 30 step by step projects and it's all about animals thought she'd enjoy this one. You can use this over the summer as well. I got The Horrible Histories, Paws, Claws and Jaws, The World's Wildest Animal Tales. We love the Horrible History books. We've got several of them. Um, but I thought she'd really enjoy this one. Um, so we'll probably she might read that over the summer or we might just read she might just read it next year as part of school, but I thought that would be a good one. This one is for next year for school as part of Learning Language Arts through Literature for 7th grade. They do a Shakespeare unit and I saw that they had this uh, stage full of Shakespeare stories. Um, it's a retell, a retelling obviously, but I still think it would be a good one. So it's got all these different plays here. So the one we're actually doing um, for the curriculum I have the book for, um, but I thought just that this would just be an additional one to have and I thought we could read through. And throughout the year, she's enjoyed that one. She still loves Pokemon. Um, she has, I think, the other encyclopedia, the other previous version, but this one says it's updated and expanded. This was part of the Prime Day sale, and thought, okay, I'll get her this one. I was thinking of putting it away for her birthday, um, but then I thought, no, we'll just give it to her over the summer. She'll enjoy it as a summer read. And then I got this Hotels for Cats. Again, going on the, the cat theme. <laughs> this just looks like a fun summer read. Um, I thought she would enjoy this one as well. I did get some additional books for over the summer as well. Um, I think I've already showed, you might have already seen these in a previous video. So this one is The Dinosaur Empire. So it's a journey through the Mesozoic era. Looks like a really good one, comic book style. Wild Summer again is going to be um, for summer read. Weird But True 2024. She really enjoys these books. And we've had several of them over the years. I thought she'd enjoy that over the summer. And then the How Many Guinea Pigs Can Fit on a Plane answers to the most clever math questions. Again, this is going to be for over the summer. I also got her this Wings of Fire tote bag. As you know, we did Dread Academy this year for homeschool, which was my unit studies based on the Wings of Fire book series. So I thought it would be a perfect end to end the year. I should get this Wings of Fire tote bag with all of her goodies in. So I'm going to put the books in there. Obviously not the Shakespeare one, but the books that are for over the summer. And then I also got her this dragon egg. Um, it's really pretty. And then it's got the little dragon inside. So that's sort of her last day of school gifts. And um, plus her summer reading books. I also got some fun experiment kits to do over the summer, so I got her this National Geographic Cool Reactions one. Um, this looks like a really good one, I think she'll enjoy this. So some of the things, colour changing reactions, hydromobile messages, fizzy eruptions and more obviously inside. And then I also got her the Mega Science Series Science Magic Kit. This one's got 50 easy magic tricks and experiments, um, so I thought she'd really enjoy this one. Um, let's see. So you get quite a few things inside, uh, test tubes and beakers and all kinds of stuff. So I think this is going to make it fun. I think she's going to enjoy that one. Now something that we got when she was in pre-K4, I think it was. I, I think I've still got the haul actually on the channel when we first bought these test tubes. Um, but now obviously she's coming up to 7th grade and they're ruined. So some of them have loads of broken. and But they lasted a really long time. So I decided to get her another pack. 
So these are the jumbo ones, just makes it more fun. And then I get, did get her this extra pack of small ones, um, specifically for science experiments in seventh grade. So the last thing I got, a new IKEA bookshelf, um, the Billy bookcase. I don't know if I got a different size, I must have done because the shelves are so much deeper um, than previous ones that we've had. Um, so they must have come up, either they've come up with a new design that is different obviously than the previous bookshelves or I purchased a different one than I normally do. But I'm not complaining because it's really nice to have the um, thicker shelves. Um, well, not necessarily thicker, but wider shelves. Um, well, they might be as well thicker, I'm not sure, but they're definitely wider, that's for sure. But they just, I just love these Billy bookcases. We've had them for years. They last great. Um, they hold so much. I, it astounds me when we moved how many boxes of books that I was able to get out of the garage onto the shelves. Um, one, just even one shelf, and my garage already looked a ten million times better. <laughs> in terms of the contents of boxes because these shelves just hold so much so i highly recommend them. this is the billy bookcase from ikea that's everything in my haul today so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care bye for now